Lake is a 700-acre farm set deep in Washington State in a small remote valley. The farm grows a number of different herbs, but their main crops are two species of echinacea, which they grow to produce a powder concentrate and an oil extract. The farm manager is Kevin Ernst. We grow valerian, dandelions, marshmallow, red clover, alfalfa, uh, the list goes on and on and really it changes from year to year depending on what the market is. We grow a lot of stinging nettle and that's for two different products. One is for the root and the other is for the aerial portion. We've fine-tuned our drying process here at Trout Lake Farm so that we can seal in the natural goodness that's in the herbs. We do that by uh, manipulating the drying process so that we dry them as quickly as we possibly can, yet not drying them at such a high temperature or so quickly that we drive off those essential phytonutrients that make Neutralite's products so good. We began a uh, ag research trial last season uh, in a field here. It's about a seven acre field and we're looking into several different varieties of berries. Berries are very high in anthocyanins. They're very good antioxidants. We think that there's great potential for it and we know that this farm will produce great berries for Neutralite's products. The soils in Trout Lake um, originate on the mountain behind me. Uh, they're all volcanic in nature. So it's very rich soil. It has a lot of minerals in it. We take a lot of care in making sure that our soils are at their peak with soil life and uh, that will then equate to good nutrition for the plant. The whole of Trout Lake Valley is truly organic. Um, many of the people who uh, have small farmsteads here may not be certified organic, but they don't do anything that would be uh, contrary to what organic standards are. We don't really have any neighbors who are conventional farmers that can contaminate, and that's just due to the fact that we're so remote and in such a small little valley. This farm over the years has had an influence on the neighbors. They've seen the economic benefits of having an organic farm. We've been able to show other people that they don't necessarily need to do things the way they had been doing them to get the same results. Organic farming is all about fitting in with the natural world. When we farm, we make a conscious choice to alter the natural world. We take what was there and we change it quite a bit. But we realize that the natural world has had a balance for a long, long time that keeps all the various organisms in populations that are manageable. You don't do anything in biodynamic farming without wondering how it affects something else in your system. So from a holistic point of view, it's a wonderful, wonderful system.